I'm going to create a very simple server. My client is going to be the browser itself. I'm going to specify a new route. I'm going to call it stream. That again will take a request response object and I'll be setting a header. But instead of setting the header content type to be text plain, I'm going to say text and this will be event stream. After I've done that, I'm just going to say response.write. I'm not going to say response.send or response.end. Now, these are all the HTTP things and I'm doing event streaming, right? I'm doing this server send event and that is possible only with write. And inside this write, I'm going to say pass the data. The data over here, let it be just hello. And one more thing, it should end with two new line characters. Now, once I've done this much, server can now start to relay the server send event. We'll see that in action now. So how do I do that? I go to inspect developer tools and then I come to my console and over here, I'm going to say, let SSE is equal to new event source. Now this is something that browser is giving me and I'm going to say HTTP localhost 8080 and then I'm going to say stream. Okay, I'm going to set our hook into the event stream. And now once I've done that, I'm going to release the hatch. And you see, I get this hello zero, hello one, hello two, hello three, hello four. So now after every second, server is going to send me the data. Even though the client is not requesting it, server keeps sending the data. And this channel has now become a unidirectional channel. And SSE event kind of thing is now happening over here.